Hey guys, it's Karima and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have the whole house to clean today, so you're gonna get a lot of cleaning motivation from this video. But before we jump into the cleaning, I wanna say thank you so much for the support. There are 31,000 of you subscribed to this channel and I am so grateful for that. And if you're new here, consider joining Guilt Free Nation. One of my subscribers came up with that and I love it. Like, comment, I interact with pretty much everyone on this channel. We have lots of fun here, so join our nation. Hey guys, so as you see, I got a couple of things I need to work on today, but I wanted to go ahead and get myself dressed and ready because I don't plan on just cleaning, so. I am starting out in the bathroom because the only load of laundry I have to wash today are towels. So I'm going to collect all the towels and washcloths and get that started first thing so I can kind of get through these things as quickly as possible. I'm going to go outside today. So I am dressed. Let's do a little quick outfit haul. So many of you asked me to do try on hauls and I promise you I will. And, or I would, but I don't have any clothes. So um, when I get some clothes, I will do a try on haul for you guys, but I will show you what I'm wearing today. So I just have on my infamous tank top. I swear I got these in every color, a million of them. And I have on these cute like paper bag shorts, paper bag waist shorts. What are these called? Y'all know what I'm talking about with that high waist and it's got the little ruffles on it with the belt. I got these from The Loft, you guys. I never shop at The Loft, but they had a 60% off sale and these shorts were eight bucks. And I think originally they were like $49.99, like $50. So I got them and I just have on my gold sandals. These are those um, Steve Madden dupes. Yes, mine's are a dupe because mine are from Target. And that is the outfit of the day, guys. So let's handle all of this going on behind us. I did get a couple of things from the loft. Like I said, they were on sale. Guys, I got pants for $6. Like, hold on. Let me talk to you. $6. I'm just, and the pants were $70. I'm going to do a try on haul on my vlog channel with the stuff that I got from the loft because they are so cute and I could not believe the sale that they were having it might be because of corona because they gotta still make their money but i was happily shopping and they were all final sale like these shorts were final sale but for eight bucks girl girl but let's get into this cleaning video <laughs> don't click out this is a cleaning video if you need that cleaning motivation i got a ton of it coming up so let's get to it let's get this load of laundry done so that is all we have to do for the day as far as laundry is concerned and let's get to all those other areas that i showed you So when I'm cleaning, I always like to start in either my kitchen or my bedroom. Something about those two spaces really make me feel productive when they are completed. So today I am starting out in the kitchen. I really like starting in the kitchen because if I get nothing else done in a day, it really feels good to have a clean kitchen.
So since I didn't have that many dishes in the sink, I decided to just hand wash them instead of putting a couple of pots in the dishwasher to sit all day. I like to run my dishwasher when it's kind of full. These were some dishes that were left overnight, so I'm just going to wash those pots real quick and put them up. I'm just using half of a sponge and Barkeeper's Friend to clean out my sink. I only really use sponges to clean out the sink or on tough dishes and to clean off the stove. Other than that, I prefer to use a dish rag. That really like weirds some people out. Some people have strong feelings against using dish rags because they feel like it's dirty. But I really don't see the difference between that and a sponge. To me, a dish rag is better because you can actually wash it. I mean, if you use a sponge repeated times, it's eventually going to get dirty as well. And you just have to throw it away and get a new one. When my rags get dirty, I just put them in the wash and wash them. I always sanitize them. I always use laundry sanitizer. And it's just a preference. I grew up using dish rags, so it's just what I prefer and I have plenty of them so I switch them out often. To clean the top of the stove, I'm going to use my awesome spray and I'm going to use the cooktop cleaner by Wayman's along with the scraper and the sponge. The cleaner that I used for my stove is linked down below in my Amazon links. So I wanted to share something with you guys that I use to clean and maintain my garbage disposal and my dishwasher and washing machine. So I'm just using these, the A-Fresh dishwasher cleaner and the A-Fresh disposable cleaner. And I'll show it to you for the washing machine as well. I got these from Home Depot. They sell them on Amazon, Home Depot, Walmart. They sell them everywhere and they're fairly cheap. Um, it just depends on what size you, you get. So this is the three tablets, which is good for three months because you do it once a month. And I try to do it on the first of the month or the first week of the month so that I can remember. It's kind of like rent. You do it when you gotta pay your rent or your mortgage. So it helps me remember. So I'm going to pop one of these in the dishwasher now to just clean it out and then I can load some of the dishes from this morning that I didn't hand wash into the dishwasher after or I may hand wash it, who knows. And then I'm going to pop one of these down the disposable 
And then when those towels are done washing in the washing machine, I'm going to pop one in the washing machine as well. So I wanted to come in the laundry room and show you the washing machine ones. They look just like the other ones. Honestly, I feel like I could use the same tablet for all of them because um, they all look alike, but whatever. So this is a six month supply. As you can see, this is the six, six tablet. You do it once a month just to kind of keep your things from getting messed up and built up gunk and grime now you don't have to use these tablets you can use clr you can use vinegar and baking soda if you want to go like the more natural route but this was super easy it's cheap sometimes i do do the vinegar and baking soda stuff for my dishwasher and washing machine but i was noticing i was getting a ton of gunk in my washing machine and um my dishwasher i was noticing that my dishes were really cloudy like they were clean but they the glasses were coming out cloudy so I wanted to get something it's recommended for Whirlpool appliances and I have a Whirlpool dishwasher and Amena is the company that makes these washing machines but it's just the parent company is Whirlpool Amena is one of their brands so yeah so I'm gonna do that as soon as these towels are done and I'm gonna do the dishwasher now So even though I didn't have much laundry to wash, I did have a ton of laundry to fold. This is all of my laundry. I did three loads of my clothes and I didn't fold any of it. So I'm gonna get through that now, but I don't mind because it's my favorite time to catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers. Right now in this video, I'm watching Courtney from Mama Makes It Happen. Check out her channel. She's been doing these videos called Sunday Resets and I love that. I love YouTubers who do Sunday type videos to kind of get you going for your week. She's one of my favorites. Gia from Marriage and Motherhood is one of my favorites. She does Sunday setup. And I also like Tiffany Beeston's uh, Sundays at Tiffany's. Also, I just want to answer this question because I get the question every single time I fold towels or my dish towels and that's why I roll them. It's because of my space. I do not have a linen closet in my house. So I had to get very creative of, with how I store my towels. So I roll them to fit them where I keep them. So I just wanted to show you, you just put the tablet inside the drum. Even if you have like dispensers for your detergent or you have a front loader with the dispensers, it goes inside the drum either way. And then you just put it on clean washer. Let's start. So 
So now it's time to clean and organize my laundry room. I'll admit that this is one of the rooms that gets neglected. I don't clean it as often as I probably should. But right now I'm going through the baskets. I'm looking for things that I'm using and I want to keep. And I'm getting rid of the things that I don't need. I'm packing up the laundry detergent in the baskets like I intended it to be. And removing all of the stuff from on top of my dryer so it's not so crowded anymore. So I forgot how dusty the top of my washing machine gets because of the lint trap on the dryer. It's right on top of the dryer. So every time I empty the lint trap, it gets lint everywhere. So I like to take a dry microfiber towel and just wipe everything down first to get all that lint and dust off and then go over with the wet Lysol wipe. I really should have did a close up here, but I could not believe how much dust was underneath that laundry sorter. It's kind of embarrassing, so I'm kind of glad I didn't do a close up, but you can still see it. It was so dusty underneath there. It's because when I do run the vacuum in here, I kind of just vacuum the part of the floor you can see, and then I'm on to the next area. But since I'm doing a cleaning, a deep cleaning of the laundry room, I needed to take everything out so I could vacuum and mop the floor now we do want to do a renovation in this laundry room we don't have a large space as you can see but i did want to do some peel and stick tiles and maybe change the color up in there to lighten it up a little bit and make it feel a little bit bigger but that will come in a future video So here's one of the things that I love about the spin mop. You can get your floors really clean when they need a nice deep cleaning, but you can also get those baseboards without having to get on your hands and knees. That's one of my favorite things about this mop. So this drawer right here is where I keep all my kitchen towels, washcloths, and cleaning cloths for the kitchen. Since I don't have a linen closet, all the kitchen towels stay in this drawer and this is why I roll them. Did you guys see that smoke in that dishwasher? That's how hot the water gets in there. It always kills me when people say, oh you're not clean if you use a dishwasher or your dishes isn't clean because the water in the dishwasher gets so hot, like it would literally burn your skin off. But everyone has their own preference. I love my dishwasher. And this is our dishes from the morning, from breakfast. I'm about to get ready to make lunch, but I don't want the dishes to pile up. So I'm loading the morning dishes for now. And once we're done eating lunch, I will add that to the pile too.
So I just wanted to show you guys how I use my monthly tablets to keep all of my appliances clean. Now I am going to do the garbage disposal. There's many ways to clean your garbage disposal, but I just wanted something quick and easy that I could remember to do for everything. So you're supposed to just have a slow stream of hot water running, drop the tab in and turn on the disposal for 30 seconds. I whipped up a really quick and easy lunch because while I'm filming this video and cleaning, I'm also doing school with Chloe at the same time, even though I'm not showing that. But yeah, we are just having some meatballs that I put in the air fryer and I am going to saute them in this Carolina barbecue sauce. And then I'm going to put some seasoned fries in the air fryer and that will be lunch. So now that Chloe is done with school for the day, I am clearing off the table. I can finally get the kitchen table clean and then we'll sit down and have lunch. So today I'm using my Spick and Span spray that I get from the Dollar Tree to clean the table. You do have to let that spray sit on for 10 minutes for it to effectively disinfect. I had already sprayed the countertops, so I am now wiping that off while the spray sits on the table. So here's another frequently asked question that I get a lot on my channel and it's how I keep my table looking brand new, especially with kids. Now my kids, they leave their cups on here, I get rings, they make a mess with their food. So my table does get dirty, but I clean my table the same way every single time, every single time I clean it and that really keeps up the longevity of the table. I clean it with some type of disinfectant spray when I'm cleaning and then I dry it off with a dry microfiber towel and I oil it. So right now I'm drying the table off after cleaning it and now I'm gonna put that lemon oil. I use the lemon oil by Old English to condition the table. I do that every single time I clean my table and that is it and that really keeps it looking brand new. So here's lunch. This is my plate. It was really quick and simple to make and tasty. And the kids had some fruit with theirs as well. After vacuuming the floor, I did mop. It desperately needed it, but I did that off camera. Sometimes you just can't show every single little thing, but trust me, the floor got mopped after vacuuming. Okay, so ghetto. 
So I wanted to show you guys the cleaned kitchen. This is after lunch. Got a little bit of meatballs left, but stove is clean. No dishes. I'm just defrosting some salmon for dinner later. This wild caught, caught pink salmon from Aldi. This is the two pound family bag. So that's just defrosting. I'm done cleaning the kitchen so these cloths can go in the dirty hamper. But yeah, I wiped off all the countertops. Everything is clean. Island is clear. Only thing I didn't do is wipe off this refrigerator, guys. But the table is clear and clean. The refrigerator needs to be wiped down, but in that corner over there. But that corner is the junk corner, and I'm not doing that today. It's hard to tell on camera. It's a little bit of fingerprints, but I wiped that down. And I mopped and vacuumed the kitchen floor. And I needed it desperately. I should have showed you the close-up of all the stains on the floor, but it is what it is. It's nice and clean. And I feel so much better. Let me show you guys the laundry room. So this floor was vacuumed and mopped. I keep a little bucket behind the door with dirty kitchen, like dirty cleaning cloths and the dirty mop heads. So I'll do a load of that since it's full. But it's like one of those Dollar Tree buckets. A little Dollar Tree bucket. And I just keep that right behind the door. It's my husband's dirty clothes. He will do that. And this is my cleaning cart. I'm going to talk more about this cleaning cart in a whole nother video. So you'll see it soon. But it's nice and clean in here. I cleared off the washing machine and the dryer. You guys know what my laundry room looks like. But everything is now in the basket. So you just grab your laundry detergent from there. Wash your clothes and put it back. Up here I'm just keeping the uh, washing machine tablets the cleaning tablets in here this is where I keep the pods when we have some the liquid was on sale the Tide liquid was on sale so I bought that instead of the pods and this is my vinegar my husband likes these I like the dry ball I don't dry balls I don't mind these if they're unscented but this has that I don't know has some type of scent it's really strong so I just can't take it on my clothes and that's that So I don't know who needs to hear this, but here's your daily reminder to make sure you're getting your water in. Women about my size, I think women in general, need about 60 to 70 ounces of water a day at least. So make sure you're getting your water in, ladies. And if you have some laundry to fold, here is your laundry folding motivation. Go grab your basket, sis, and sit down with me. Let's get these clothes folded. I can't guarantee they're going to get put up, but at least we're one step closer. And while we're just sitting here folding, it was just kind of on my heart to share some encouragement or rather congratulate some of you guys. I just wanted to say congratulations for starting whatever it is that you have started. If you started a new job, if you're starting school, if you're starting a business, whatever it is, I want to say congratulations for starting because sometimes that is the hardest part. I was watching YouTube for years before I decided to finally just start and it was something that I've always wanted to do but I let fear hold me back so I want to congratulate anyone who had the courage to just start.
So I'm so proud of myself because I finished folding all of that laundry. I didn't put my clothes away, but I did put all the towels away. I will get to my clothes eventually. I really love these burnt orange throw pillows. It was the perfect selection this year because I did it for my summer bedding and it transitions into the fall nicely. So I had to call it quits here. I got a lot of things done, but I was tired at this point and I really needed to get out the house. This is my cleaned room. That's Kingston's little area right there with his t-shirt slippers and his iPad. But I'm so happy I got this much done. I love when my room is clean because it just makes me feel so good. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't click out just yet. You guys know my video is not complete without showing you what I made for dinner. So stay tuned to the end. Here I'm just sauteing some salmon in the pan. Okay guys, so I am making a kale salad. Oh, King King, no. Don't do that. So I'm just using, obviously, kale. I'm massaging it in this raspberry vinaigrette dressing to soften it up. I'm gonna add some dates that I chopped up and I'm gonna add some peanuts and roasted potatoes to the salad. And it will, dinner will be done. We'll have salmon and the kale salad. These are the roasted potatoes. I did them in the oven. And I'm pretty much remaking this recipe here from Green Chef. That kale salad was so good. I wish I had the exact um, dressing, but it's all right. We're gonna make it work. So I'm doing that and then dinner will be done. I'll show you what it looks like once it's plated. Dinner was simple and easy. Thank you guys so much 
for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.